Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. One time for the birthday chick. I'm gonna mess around by you a birthday whip. Hi team, I hope you're all well. Today we are going to be doing my birthday unboxing. When you are watching this, it is my birthday. If you're watching it on Monday the 4th, I am currently filming this on Sunday the 3rd. Um, I wanted to leave it as late as I possibly could to film this so that it would be the most accurate and I've given, you know, enough time for things to come through, which... Apparently I have. So yeah, I'm very excited as always with these things. Very overwhelmed. Thank you to every single person that has sent me something and to anybody that may say happy birthday on my birthday, which would be tomorrow for you guys today if you're watching it on the 4th. Uh, I am turning 34 this time and I'm very excited to have an even number again. I have this thing about even numbers. I love them not a fan of odd numbers albeit it's been a pretty good year so i'm not too mad about it but yeah i'm really really excited very overwhelmed so i do have two here that have come in the last couple of days while i've been at my dad's um i am going to start off with this one because i know i've ordered this one so i did just want to open this while i was here because i might as well it's already here so this is a set of books a series that um Shout out to Elsie Silver for letting us know that this series has been picked up by the publisher and there's only like two weeks or something left to get the covers that you might want of these. There are two options. There is an option with watercolours and horses on it and then there is the people covers and if anybody knows I am really really sad that I didn't get the people covers of these because I love them. So shout out to Elsie Silver for letting us know that because it's not very often that happens. They just get picked up and all of a sudden we can't get the covers that we wanted. Uh, this was not a cheap do, so it is a treat to myself. I'm not sure what order these go in, but it is the Off to the Races series. So this is the first one in this series. I'm not sure what order they go in, but we have a false start a photo finish and also a the front runner and this is a cowboy series if i remember uh, if i remember correctly and yeah it is a romance cowboy romance series and the minute i spotted on instagram that these would be going out of print I decided that I wanted to pick them up. So these were the original covers. They then got a redo with some watercolours, uh, with some watercolour covers with horses on. But I really wanted these ones and you can just about still get these. Um, so I'm really glad that I purchased them. The Gold Rush Ranch series. Nice. I watch Gold Rush. I also watch Yellowstone, which is a ranch kind of series. So this should be right up my street. And especially considering that I have loved so far her... Uh, chestnut spring series this should definitely be up my street and i'm so excited i managed to get these covers the new ones might be even nicer but just in case <laughs> decided to treat myself so i thought i would just unbox those with you to start off with i do have my little step here to pack the books onto and then i do have this one as well now i don't know who this is from my best friend laura my other best friend that also lives in ipswich messaged me to say that there's a parcel coming for me she doesn't want me to open it till my birthday so this could be it but i don't recognize this as her handwriting so it might not be unless her partner has ended up writing this out uh i don't see why he would have to be honest but yeah so i'm gonna open it and if it is from lou i will just save it for tomorrow this could this be from her will i know is there a note it's a candle this could be from her you know what i'm actually going to save this i will show you tomorrow what this is because i'm planning on doing a vlog for tomorrow for my birthday so i'll show you then what this is because um i should save it she's asked me to so i'm going to do that <laughs> just in case uh, so I don't need that anymore. A lot of these were already opened. I haven't looked what's inside. It's just because with it being very close to Christmas, I have obviously ordered Christmas presents and other things for myself and for others off of Amazon. So every time something's come in, I've, ha I've had to check that it's not something I've ordered. So I've stuck my hand in. If there's a note in it, I've then put it to one side. So all of them are opened for that reason. So let's get straight into it. Oh, this one is wrapped. Okay, nice. 
So I don't need the receipt, just the note. This is from Cece. It says, happy birthday, lovely. I also have this on my TBR, maybe a buddy read from Cece. Yes, I am always down for a buddy read, Cece. Let's find out what's inside. <gasps> oh, yay. Okay, this is The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. I've enjoyed books from Ashley Poston before, especially The Dead Romantics. I loved that book. This is quite floppy. Nice. Um, I don't know what this is about, but I saw that she had a new one coming out. It went straight on my wish list. Six months ago, Clementine West had the worst day of her life. She came up with a plan to keep her heart safe, stay busy, at work hard, take no risks, and it's been working. Um, that is until one day she finds a strange man standing in the kitchen interesting he's perfect but for one thing he lives in the past seven years ago to be exact Ooh, this is giving me the lake vibes you know with sandra bullock and keanu reeves sign me up uh cc yes for a buddy read thank you so much angel uh yeah a hundred percent yay i'm not going to go through the synopsis of all of these if i know what they're about i'll tell you if not i'll just read a little bit off the back um, so next we have a note from Bucklepuff, I think who is one of my friends on Instagram, if I remember correctly. I uh, hope you have a wonderful birthday, love from Puff Bucklepuff. Oh, Looking Glass by Katerina Ward. Again, I, I have Sundial, you might be able to see it here, I have Sundial on my TBR, but I have really loved The Last House on Needler Street, which I actually originally DNF'd the first time I read it gave it five stars the second time um which i read for my in-person book club that i don't go to any longer i don't know, even know if it's still going to be perfectly honest uh but it, the first book that they were reading when i signed up was the last house on needless street and i was panicking thinking crap i can't not read the first book so i picked it up again loved it five stars so now i am intrigued about anything else that she writes writers are monsters we eat everything we see okay in a windswept cottage overlooking the sea, Wilder Harlow begins the last book he will ever write. In the story of his childhood companions and the shadowy figures of Daggerman who starts the New England town when they spent, where they spent their summers. Of horror that has followed Wilder through the decades and of Sky, Wilder's one-time friend who stole his unfinished memoir and turned it into a lurid best-selling novel, The Sound of and the Dagger. Um, now, interesting. I don't, I'm not reading the rest of it because we'll be here all day if I read the synopsis of every book. But nice. Thank you so much, Book Up for this one. I truly appreciate it. This has been on my, I think this has been on my wish list for a while, actually. So I'm really excited to finally have it. Yay. Okay, next. This feels like it might be in here quite tight. Is there, there must be a note for me to have thought that I haven't bought it myself. Oh, from Zoe. Uh, thank you for another year of being my calm in the storm and my laughs on the hard days. You and your videos will be irreplaceable to me. Happy birthday. Love you more than pumpkin spice from Zoe. Zoe, I love you so much. Thank you. Okay, cool. Uh, so I saw Becca talking about this one in her Rare TBR and I really want to go to Rare next year. I don't have a ticket yet, but I would really like to go. And it is Always Mine by Laura Pavlov. I'm really intrigued by this one. He fights fires for a living, but the flames building between us may be too big to extinguish. Sign me up. It's a romance. And how pretty is this cover? It's indie published. So, oh, the Honey Mountain series. So I'm really excited about this one. Oh, thank you so much, Zoe. You sweetheart. Your note is so sweet as well. I adore you. Thank you so much. I love this cover. This man is very, very handsome. Yay! Oh, this makes me very excited. Very overwhelmed, but very excited. Okay, next we have a note from Amanda. Happy birthday, darling. Thank you for everything that you do. Hope your day is as wonderful as you from Amanda. I think I've got two in here from Amanda because I'm sure she had an issue. The first one went missing, so she ordered me something else to make sure I had something to open. And then the first one ended up being found and delivered. So I've got two, I'm sure of it, on here. Ooh, oh my God, this is way chunkier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so we have June 1st by Jennifer Hartman this one has been picked up by a publisher I, the other two that i have haven't yet i think actually they have now been picked up by a publisher but i have the indie versions this is so big 
over 600 pages. These books that Jennifer Hartman does, they're not in a series, but I think they have Easter eggs of each book. So in Still Beating, we, at the very end, we see a news report of Oliver being found, um, who is the main character in then Lotus. So I think there's Easter eggs in each of the books for each of the next subsequent books. So I'm intrigued by that in itself and i really enjoy jennifer hartman's writing style and how dark her books can go want to know what happens when a man who barely claws his way out of tragedy only to fall right into the arms of the one girl in the world he can never have another tragedy that's what interesting this cover is so pretty nice so i think that this is the next one in not the series but in her books that i should be reading so that's amazing thank you so much amanda i truly appreciate it this book is so large compared to her others holy crap amazing yay <laughs> am i gonna do that after every book tap it and then oh there's two in here tap it and then say yay are there any notes okay we have two notes. Happy birthday, hon. Enjoy your gift. I love both of these books from Camilla. I think this is one of the people from the birthday gifting group that I'm in. So every month, there is a, a birthday in every month and we gift them presents. So they're getting 11 presents from people, guaranteed. Um, and then the second note says, enjoy your gift from Cap Camilla. Um, so I think this is one of the people from that group. So, oh, yes yes camilla okay so i have two of willow winter's discreet covers here i have a couple of them on my wish list and i've been wanting them for a while now but there's so many of them but i love the way that these look so we have killian cat and delilah this is the first in a trilogy and i think this is a standalone books 51 and 42 in her discreet series these covers are beautiful and they all have different colors and each of the colors represents something like a trope or how dark the book gets or something so i am fascinated by that like a color for a mafia romance or a color for a very dark romance or sports romance or whatever so fascinated by that um so yeah i'm truly hyped for that this one is actually called this love hurts but the discreet cover just has like the name of the main characters on the front and i don't know what this one is about some love stories are slow burn others are quick to ignite scorching and burning your very soul before you've taken the first breath you're ne you've you're never given a chance to run from it that's how i describe what had happened to us sign me up and then this one killian and cat is actually called sexy as sin and this one says i took the fall for a crime i didn't commit and it cost me everything including the only woman i ever loved potentially mafia romance i don't know thank you so much camilla for these i truly appreciate it these are gonna look so pretty on my shelves i really want to collect them all unless obviously they've got stalking in them let me make sure i put the right note in the each book um but yeah i'm very excited to have these i would love to buy them directly from willow winter's website but the postage on them is so expensive they're more than the book so it just doesn't make it worth it unfortunately otherwise i would totally get them from a low winter's website directly but thank you camilla for those next we have a gift from beth happy birthday steph hope you have the best day fingers crossed to finish in the series beth <gasps> the lost metal by brandy sandy <sighs> book four in the miss born era 2 series and i struggled my way so much through books two and three in fact i think it took me about 14 months to get through book three uh no book two sorry and then i flew through book three because i forced myself to do so why is the writing in here so fucking small <laughs> so this is book four that has since been released um and i didn't want the hardback of it because i have the paperbacks of all of brandon sanderson's books except his secret projects and also the uh skyward series as well uh so yeah i wanted the paperbacks to match and i don't know when at what point i'm going to read this one but i think i need to read some of the um stormlight archives first before i pick this one up so i do have a couple of reading orders to follow but i think that's what i'm going to do so that is my intention hopefully next year i will get to this one but thank you so much beth for holding me accountable <laughs> because now i have it i should read it i'll be that doesn't always track so 
who the fuck knows. Okay, next we have quite a thin one. I wonder what is in here. That is very thin. Give me the nod. This is the receipt. A gift from Natasha's nose. Ooh, Evergreen by Mark Higgins. I can't remember where I saw this, but it's a, oh, it's a picture book. Okay. I do remember where I saw this. I'm fairly certain Mark Higgins live in, lives in Ashton. Yeah, Mark Higgins grew up in the northwest of England, born in Widnes. His parents relocated to Ashton and Mayfield in, Wig in Wigan, where he grew up alongside two siblings and where he lives and works today. So I remember seeing this on the Ashton Facebook page and somebody mentioned, oh, my husband has written a book. Um, if you're interested, if you've got kids and you're interested in picking it up, feel free to do so. So I put it on my wish list because I was like, you know what, I'm happy to support a local author. Um, so I'm going to give it a read and then I'm going to give it to Thomas. The text in it is probably a little bit too big for Thomas at the moment, but it's a good story time book that Matt and Tara could read him or I could read him and, um, one for him to keep for once he's a bit older and he can read himself as well. Discover a magical world deep in the woods where evergreens, shrubs and woodland creatures gather in a clearing to share their stories. But today the news is dire an evil weevil with the teeth like needles threatens to devour everything that's past including including evergreens and all living beings. Cute. It is very small. It's like 30 pages or so. But yeah, I'm happy to support a local author. And the minute that I saw it, I said that I would um, get a copy. So that's exciting thank you natasha for that one okay what do we have in here another receipt give me happy birthday hope you have a lovely day love natasha yeah natasha is one of the people the same person that just got me that one it's one of the people from that birthday club as well so thank you natasha oh night of the living queers edited by shelly page and alex brown i think this is a collection night of the living queers is a ya horror anthology that explores a night when anything is possible exclusively featuring queer authors of color putting fresh spins on the classic horror tropes and tales sounds fascinating and i am a hundred percent here for this i don't read a lot of ya anymore but ya horror is definitely still something that i pick up and reach for regularly because i still really enjoy it i think ya horror is fascinating to me and i really enjoy my time with it so i'm really happy to have this book this cover also is absolutely stunning i just love it so yeah thank you so much natasha for this one oh, i'm cold i've put the heat on because i've not been here for two days but i am cold Oh, there's two books in here. Tracy, happy birthday, Steph. Hope you enjoy this as much as I did from Tracy. Happy birthday, Steph. You know I just had to get you this one. What's in the box? Ooh. I knew she would have got me this one. I should have known. Okay, so the one is I... Uh, you just know I had to get you this one is wrapped with a bow by Lily Vale this is a Christmas book and she read this one as an arc and really enjoyed it I can't believe how floppy this book is um she read it as an arc and has been banging on about it since probably September if not earlier uh and I put it on my wish list immediately so of course she got me that this one it's a small town romance set at Christmas so I'm very very excited about this one this cover as well is absolutely stunning it's like a purple cover I've had to put my umbrella light on because it's really dark in here um so yeah and then the other book she got me is the miraculous sweet makers the forest fair by natasha hastings which is a middle grade this sounds adorable the great forest of oh sorry the great frost of 1683 has london in its icy grip a spellbinding tale of deep friendship glittering magic and enchanting mystery sign me up has it got illustrations i think oh it's got a couple spotted some then it has a couple scattered through oh big one there nice love me a middle grade with illustrations that is a chunky middle grade though oh that's the next book acknowledgements 397 pages thank you so much tracy for both of these i truly appreciate you thank you my angel perfect um season as well for getting me those i love that very tied in uh okay 
This one is from Happy Birthday. Hope you have an amazing day from Fiction with Fiona. Again, I think from the Birthday Club. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, so remember a couple of weeks ago, I ended up staying up all night reading Breakout by Kylie Kent. <laughs> I then went back to check out her other books and decided that I wanted Devilish King because this cover is stunning. Uh, also by Kylie Kent, which is the first in the Valentino Empire series, which is the series that Kylie personally recommended I go to next. So I'm very excited for this one. I think, again, this is a mafia romance. I don't know if there's any sports in it this time, though. And we're following Theo and Holly. I'm not going to read through all of that synopsis, but if you want to go and check it out online, you can do. It is a Kindle Unlimited book. It's not too long either. Um, but thank you to Fiona for sending me this one. 258 pages. Should be able to fly through that. But yeah, thank you to Fiona for sending me this one. Okay, let's get through the... I've got some large boxes here next to me. I want to do those at the end, so we'll save them till the end. Okay, there's two notes in here. Uh, Demi, happy birthday. So this on your list, I knew I had to get it for you from Demi. I've seen these on TikTok and I'm so intrigued, so I would love to hear what you think. Interesting. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. I have another discreet cover. This one is John and Robin, which is actually called forget me not i'm fairly certain this might be a cowboy one um i fell in love with a boy a long time ago i was only a small girl scared and frightened i was taken from my home and held against my will okay maybe not it's kidnapping his father hurt me but he protected me and kept me safe as best he could until i left him <gasps> fascinating i'm not reading any more than that I don't want to know too much more than that, to be honest, but yay. I'm assuming this will be the TikTok book. Yes. Okay. And then the other one is Zodiac Academy Beyond the Veil, which is book 8.5. I don't have book eight yet, but I have, this is now book 8.5. This is one of the smaller ones in the series, I reckon. 409 pages 410 pages uh so yeah i can continue not that i'm up to this point yet but i can continue on with the series thank you so much demi for both of those you've made my heart incredibly happy everyone has but yeah so happy to be collecting those discreet covers from willow winters very excited indeed i have no idea where any of these books are gonna go quite frankly i'm not sure but Okay, this is from Georgia. Happy birthday from Georgia. Good Lord, this is chunky. Oh my God. I, what? I did not know this book was so large. This is another one that I'm gutted I didn't get the original covers for, but I don't hate the new ones. It is Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh. Uh, the first in the Boys of Tommen series. And I am fascinated. This is huge. This is an actual brick. Could be bigger than a Brandon Sanderson book, this. 800 pages 798 pages oh hang on no 801 pages what is a romance doing being that large <laughs> romance has no business uh when two worlds collide nothing will ever be the same again meet the irresistible boys of tommen and feel the emotional power of first love like never before in the epic series from the tiktok sensation chloe walsh uh, I believe this is four books long so we have binding 13 and keeping 13 and then we've got saving six and redeeming six fascinating uh thank you so much georgia yay i can finally read this book now everyone's been banging on about it and i've been feeling the fomo so this is a large parcel it's wrapped oh they're all wrapped oh there's three what who did this who's responsible I have an envelope for my notes of that many claire of course it's Claire. <laughs> okay, happy birthday, Steph. Don't tell me off. Lots of love from Claire. Um, happy birthday, Steph. Hope you have an amazing day, my love. This sounds amazing. Let me know what you think. And happy birthday, Steph. This was so cute not to get you. This was so cute not to get you. Lots of love from Claire. Okay, start off with the small one. What is in here? <gasps> Cat Gamer. 
volume three i've read volume one and really really loved it and immediately went on to see if there was any other volumes and there was so i got the third volume um well i added the volumes two and three onto my wish list i think i don't know if there's a volume four coming out or not but this is following a woman who is very much a rec recluse she loves to stay home and game a bit like we like to stay home and read books and all she ever does is stay home and game. And then the um, security guard at work one day comes in with this box that has a kitten in it that's been ditched. And she's like, you know what? I'm gonna take this kitten home, it can't be that hard. And she uses gaming to help her look after the kitten, essentially. And it's adorable. And every now and then you will get the POV of the cat. And it's so, so cute. So I'm very excited to have that. I may assume that this could be volume two. Yeah. <laughs> So I've now got volumes two and three, which is a very exciting. I can continue on with it. Just perfect for like a manga prompt on a readathon or a cozy prompt or something. So perfect for those. Okay. This feels like a hardback. What is this? <gasps> oh, yay. Vampires of El Norte by Isabel Canez. I really enjoyed, I think I only gave it three and a half stars, but I did enjoy the Hacienda. It was very good. And I have heard fantastic things about this. In fact, I'm sure it's on the Goodreads Choice Award this year for horror. So, yay. Vampires and Vaqueros face off on the Texas-Mexico border in this supernatural western from author of the Hacienda. Samuel. Thanks so much, Tracy, for these three. I truly appreciate you. Adorable. What a vibe as well. <laughs> Cute manga versus uh, horror. <laughs> Love that. Okay, this one is kind of heavy. This one, saw this was high priority, priority, so hope you enjoy it. Have a birthday from Rachel. I'm fairly certain Rachel's in that group as well. <gasps> My God, this is large. Um, it was high priority for reasons. It is Shadowlands by Stacey Marie Brown. It's book six in the Savage Lands series. The only problem with these matte covers is that you can see everybody's fucking fingerprints. I don't know if you're going to be able, can you see that? Dirty. This is chunky. Good Lord. 570 odd pages. This series follows Brexley, who is the ward of the king and queen and in love with her best friend, who is their son. And we live in a world where 20 years ago, there was a war between the humans and the Fae and the wall collapsed between the two. And now they are rivals. Uh, but the war has kind of stopped. It's an apocalyptic world. And Brexley kind of to give herself a bit of a rush and something to do she basically jumps on the trains that run between the two and steals things and gets them to people that she sells them on the black market so that they get to people that actually need them instead of just the wealthy and she ends up getting a self caught one day and she ends up in a fae prison where there are all different kinds of people shapeshifters fae demons humans etc and she finds herself in the situation where she's kind of fighting for her life not kind of literally fighting for her life um and yeah it just kind of goes from there and so far i have been loving it we've been reading it for becca's alpha ho book club for a patreon book club and i am loving it so far i am up to i've read uh savage lands and wildlands so i am up to book three which is deadlands if i remember correctly badlands should be book four yes so i've got book four and six so maybe book five is in here somewhere because i think i have spotted that it's gone missing off of my wish list so we will see if that is the case if not i will need to get it um but yeah in fact it could be this happy birthday darling thank you for everything you do i hope your day is as wonderful as you from amanda this is amanda's missing parcel yeah book five bloodlands um so yay i now have the whole set which is fantastic news i can finish the series off which is outstanding. So thank you so much, Amanda, for this one. And also Rachel for this one as well. I can't remember if I said that or not or got distracted with explaining what the book was about and why I was reading them. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Rachel and Amanda, for these two. I truly appreciate it. Um, adding to my series pile, which is fantastic news. <laughs> oh, this is a big one. Oh, no, it's right there. How many books are in here? 
Uh, happy birthday, Steph. Hope you have a fab day from Kay. I'm fairly certain Kay is also in said group. That, oh, oh yeah. That the note is elsewhere in this box. Oh, yeah. There is no second note. Oh, there it is in the book. <laughs> Happy birthday, Steph. Hope you have a fab day from Kay. So we do have Mile High by Liz Tomford. I know these books are on Kindle Unlimited, but listen, if I don't... If I'm not actively on my Kindle, which is very rare I am, I do want to get back into it. But if I'm not actively actively on my Kindle, I forget about the books on there. <laughs> I have ADHD, so if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And if I can't see it regularly, I forget that I even own it. So um, I ended up buying... Well, I didn't. I ended up... <laughs> putting this on my wish list uh i have heard again fantastic things about this what this series in general i know that the second one again is on the goodreads choice awards for romance this year so i'm very excited it is a hockey sports romance uh, from what i'm gathering from the first line chicago hockey isn't complete without me xanders and stevie were following so i'm assuming it's going to be a romance it's a chunky book though first in the windy city series what is with romances getting up to 600 pages and above? 570 pages. And then the other one is Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. I can't remember where I saw this. I can't remember if it was Olivia or uh, someone else. I can't remember where I saw it, but I would not have picked this up from that cover. And I believe that this is actually like a steamy cowboy romance. I don't know if it's steamy or not, but it's cowboy romance. She's off limits, but he's never been good at following the rules. Discover that sizzling brother's best friend, small town romance that went viral on TikTok. Now in a special edition with an exclusive sneak peek at the next book in the series and a Q&A with the author. Sign me up. Love me a cowboy romance. And if it's brother's best friend, it's even better. So yeah, thank you so much to K for both of these. I truly appreciate it. Nice. Uh, so I'm continuing some series, but also starting some series as well, apparently. Uh, and then we have this one until we get into the bigger boxes. From F. Tabasum. Oh, Tabs. Hi, lovely. Absolutely adore this series. So I'm excited for you to read it i hope you have the most wonderful days happy birthday from tabs also in the birthday group as well ah nice these are the first two in a series so i have read the first one in the series but haven't continued again out of sight out of mind i listened to it on audio years ago and completely forgot that it was even a thing um so the first one in this is very oh they're both floppy yeah boy um penguin know what they're doing we have the bridge kingdom by danielle l jensen and then we have the traitor queen by danielle l jensen i believe we're up to four books in this series now so i have read the bridge kingdom i think i gave it four four and a half stars really enjoyed it but didn't continue on with the series out of sight out of mind i forgot that this was a thing so i'm very excited to continue on with this series again i think danielle l jensen is going to be at rare so i would like to get to the whole series before then the chapter headers for this Oh, wow. Obviously, I wouldn't have known that previously because I listened to it on Audible because I'm fairly certain that it's available on Audible for free. So, yay. Thank you so much, Tabs, for both of these. I truly appreciate it. Okay, we have this fairy loot box <laughs> that has a card in it. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> oh cute and two step happy birthday i hope you have the most wondrous day and get to eat lots of cake i had this in my face as a present for you for a while then it was on your wish list looks like i know you quite well love n okay what have we got this looks like a swear <gasps> she did not oh <laughs> she did it's a Winnie the Pooh sweater. It says, oh, bother around the collar of the sweater. And then it's got a honey pot with some bees. Oh. Oh, um. Thanks so much, Angel. Oh, you are the sweetest. I'm definitely taking that with me this week to Andy's. Going to his tonight and I will be there all week. So I'm not coming. I may nip home uh, Tuesday or Wednesday just because I know that 
for example, Jade, Caitlin, and also Cass Parcels are behind. So um, they've had delays on them, so they won't be here today. Or they may come tomorrow, they may come Tuesday. So I'm probably going to call back on Wednesday and to try and come and pick them up. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm at his all week this week. It's a very busy week for reasons. Um, but yeah, thank you so much um, for that. You are an absolute gem. I love you so much. Uh, then we have this is this one from tilly i think it is she sent me this ages ago um and i've been saving it since so i'm fairly certain this is from tilly another card <sighs> have an amazing day adorable i hope you have an amazing day with lots of books and like your gifts from me sending lots of love tilly tilly is a dear friend that i've known for a few years now over on instagram um and i absolutely adore her she's the sweetest she's like wrapped this up it's so cute let's find out what's in here this wrapping paper is adorable she wrapped this up very very well uh tropical island fragranced candle cute Oh my god that smells amazing oh nice nice okay then we have a little one with a little pouch did she buy me an anxiety ring oh my god she did so i already have one of these with a daisy on it but I've got to put it in a bag somewhere and I can't find it. Because I don't wear it all the time. But this... Okay, so this is an anxiety ring. This is a moon and star... Moon and... Yeah, moon and star one. And the star twists. So I spend a lot of time doing this. And I break my rings regularly because of it. Because I wear them down. Whereas this just spins. And it's a... It's so cool. That is the sweetest thing. I, thank you so much, Tills. Oh my god, bless her. She knows me so well. Alright. We have this. It's got some weight to it. How do I get in? It is a mug. That's a large mug. Oh, there's something inside it. Oh my god. It says shelf love this is really pretty oh my goodness bless her and then there was something inside it as well which i i think i know what this is because i've just bought one of these for a friend of mine for an upcoming event for them i don't want to say too much because they'll probably watch this video um but i've just bought one of these for a friend of mine and it is so sweet look at that little book hedgehog how cute is that <laughs> adorable that's the strangest thing because i have honest to god just bought one of those for a friend of mine as well um then we have what looks to be a notepad and a pen can i oh that will just come out of there okay <gasps> it's got flamingos on it how cute is that flamingo notepad that'll be handy on my desk and a cute little pen to go with and then at the very bottom oh that was for the ring at the very bottom we have what looks to be a book okay she got me zodiac academy the big ass party which i don't have yet let me just double check no i haven't i've got origins of academy but i didn't have this one uh so this is book 5.5 it's just a short story oh my god she's put a load of stuff on the inside <laughs> um so it is the big as part a s party the ass party party uh so we've got some cute little stickers which are adorable we have another sticker and then we have some bookmarks these are very very cute thanks tills 
Oh, bless her. That was really, really sweet. What a cute little gift giver. I'm going to pop that in there so I don't lose it. Adorable. Thank you so much, Tilly. You are the sweetest being. Bless you. Let's put that on there with my other books and my card down there with M so I can put it up later. Oh, my notepad and my pen. Cute. Right, then we have this one and then we've got one more. Okay, this is this one's wrapped. Oh, the other two are not. Ooh, pretty. Okay. Okay, so these lot are from Jag, who is the guy that runs our birthday group. Um, so shout out to him for doing this because it was a great idea and I'm very excited to do it again next year. Uh, so these say, happy birthday, enjoy your gift from Mr. Jag. Okay, so let's open this one and then I'll show you what's in the box. Thanks for wrapping one of these up, Jag. That's so cute. These things are not cheap, you know, like these bits. Yay! Okay, so we have Sir Patrick Stewart's Making It So, a memoir. Why does that not say Sir on it? Also, this is a matte cover, so yet again, you can see Amazon's grubby fingerprints. Um, I love Sir Patrick Stewart. I've been a huge fan of his for a very long time, but mostly since I started watching Star Trek with my dad. <laughs> TNG, obviously, because he's not in the OGs. Um, but the next generation he is and I just love him. I think he's fantastic and I'm so fascinated by his memoir. I think it's going to be a really fascinating memoir. Sir Patrick Stewart is an actor if you did not know and he is a sir and it should be noted on his book. I'm always a stickler about these things. I always call Lewis Hamilton Sir Lewis now as well because he is also a sir if you did not know. Um, let me put that gift note in there so I know it's come from Jack. That's very exciting. And then we have Filthy Rich Vampire by Geneva Lee. I've got absolutely no idea where I saw this. But the cover for this is so pretty and I'm always here. I think I was searching for more vampire books and this was an option on there. I am yours, all of me, my body, my blood. You can have both. You can have everything. I'm going to assume this is going to be like a steamy vampire romance maybe. Um, but yeah, I am intrigued by this one. And the cover for it is absolutely stunning as well. Love this cover. And then the last one from Jag, because he got me three. And I'm fairly certain this is over the budget, Jag. <laughs> uh, the Unfortunate Side Effects of Heartbreak and Magic by Brianne Ren Randall. Sorry, Brianne Randall. Uh, for fans of Practical Magic and Gilmore Girls, the unfortunate side, of side effects of heartbreak and magic is a debut novel that explores the shields we build around our hearts to retain our own magic. Love that. Sign me up. Um, so yeah, thank you so much to Jag for those three. And also setting up the birthday book club because this has been a whole bunch of fun. It's been so nice to see everybody's presents because uh, everyone sends pictures through and stuff. And I have told them I will be filming this. So hey, to those of you that might be watching, I have had the best time with this group. And I'm so excited to do it again next year. So very excited about those for sure. Thanks, Jag. And then the last parcel we have is large. I don't know what's in here. I don't know who it's from. But let's find out. We have a card. A bright and some shiny birthday. That's very cute. It's from Victoria. Victoria sends me um, handmade gifts every single year for birthday and Christmas. She's the sweetest bean. Um, and she's just... The card is quite long. I'm not going to read it all out. But she's saying happy birthday that she hopes I have the best day and none of these books are on my wish list but she's read them recently and all she could think was I think Steph would like this so thanks so much Victoria I'm both excited and nervous about this because I always get a little bit nervous when people send me books that aren't on my wish list because chances are I may have them but it looks like I don't have these which is very exciting and it makes me very intrigued now because she su suggested them herself so we have I Will Find You by Harlan Coben um, which I have never heard of before. I can't even remember if I've seen this around, to be perfectly honest. David and Cheryl Burroughs are living the dream, married a beautiful house in the suburbs, a three-year-old son named Matthew, when tragedy strikes in the worst possible way. 
interesting. Okay. The um, end papers in here are really, really nice and intriguing for sure. Sounds like a thriller. Sign me up. Uh, Lee Child has put Harlan Coburn never ever lets you down on the back of here so I do enjoy Lee Child, Child's books and then we have Conviction by Jack Jordan this one is signed by the author as well to steal a man's freedom is all it takes if you like a legal thriller you'll love this Harriet Tice I loved Harriet's Ty Harriet Tice's debut um interesting a case that could make her career a man's freedom in her hands his life or hers what would you be willing to sacrifice for justice nice and it is signed by jack as well orange underneath the dust jacket pretty nice okay then we have an envelope that says handmade with love on it what are these oh cute okay we have some key rings these are very very cute there's a gong and then like a mandela one. Oh, these are really really cute i'm just hoping that this will focus so that you can see them but they are adorable how cute are they look at that gong that's really really cute and the tulips as well and then this one oh they're very very cute thank you victoria bless her and then there is also this is usually my trick with jade actually <laughs> for christmas and birthday a giant bar of cadbury's dairy milk i'm gonna be taking this to andy's this week for sure that will keep me going through the week for definite thank you so much victoria for these i truly appreciate it and also shout out to you because you managed to pick some books that were not on my wish list but also not on my tbr hadn't heard of before and do sound fantastic so thank you so much and my card so that is everything for my birthday. Thank you so much to every single person who has gifted me something. I truly appreciate it. God only knows where this lot is going to go. Uh, this is my current stack. <laughs> and my other gifts are currently just on the floor waiting. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to all of you. I truly appreciate it. Thank you to everybody that may wish me a happy birthday on my actual birthday on monday when this video goes up um i truly do appreciate it i am excited for my birthday this year but it is going to be very low key this year obviously my sister-in-law is pregnant and it's a very busy time of year the baby will be coming soon so i need to be on standby to make sure that i'm around to look after my nephew so me and andy may go to the market so we're not sure yet tomorrow on monday itself when this video goes up today it's supposed to be raining we're going to go out for some lunch with my brother and my sister-in-law and my nephew because he won't be at nursery on monday uh my dad may come down if he's feeling okay because he's not been feeling very well uh and my mom is currently away so it may just be us uh but my dad may come as well and we're gonna go for lunch and then i wanted to go to the christmas markets in manchester but i'm actually thinking that we might leave that tomorrow and potentially go on tuesday me and andy into manchester in the day and just have like a day in manchester i can get him some christmas presents because he wants to try some new clothes on uh, and he'd prefer to try them on rather than ordering them online fair uh so we could do a bit of christmas shopping and then go to the christmas markets on tuesday it's supposed to be a better day as far as the weather's concerned because it's meant to be pissing it down tomorrow so i think that is literally my plan and then i'm taking wednesday off work and half day on thursday thursday afternoon off work andy will be at work so my intention is just to sit and read at andy's all day wednesday maybe call back home i might do that in the morning to get it done dusted then i don't need to do it later on in the day and then thursday afternoon i will i'm gonna nip out with tara while she does a food shop and then come, come back home and just read for the rest of the day till he gets home from work so it's gonna be hopefully a blissful couple of days because my weekend kind of got cocked up a little bit with that um having to nip up and check in on my dad while he's not well so yeah i'm very excited about this week <laughs> um it's going to be a very busy intense week but i'm really looking forward to it and yeah this has been a great start to my birthday week and it, we're not even there yet <laughs> sunday for me uh so yeah i better get a shifty on though because i need to get this video edited i need to film a couple more videos i need to get myself over to andy it's already late in the day so i hope you have enjoyed this video chat to me in the comments down below have you read any of these 
and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you again to every single person that has gifted me something or said a happy birthday or, you know, just in general, your support year in and year out. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. And I shall see you in whatever video comes next. Bye for now.